Hi there, I'm Courtney Barker. Welcome to this week's episode of the BLK Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. Round 18 was the final round of the regular season and there was high drama until that final whistle. Let's check out and see who got the important wins on the board. Bond pushed East hard but couldn't get the win, going down 31 to 26. The Magpies pipped Brothers by one, winning 30 to 29. Uni impressed against Sunnybank, winning 54-22, and Jeeps finished their mixed season on a high note, defeating Norse 59-19. Let's head down to the Goldie first up. East got the win to secure the minor premiership, despite Bond, who were out of finals contention, having nothing to lose. The game opened well, with both teams having a crack in the opening 10 minutes. Bond were first to score, though, off this line-out more close to the line. East soon got play down the other end, and after a significant period of pressure, they had this dominant scrum near the bond line. With a penalty advantage in hand, Jack Mullins scooted from the scrum base before offloading to a rampaging Matt Gordon, who scored next to the posts. Bond soon scored a try similar to their first, which had them leading 12-7 at the break. A quick tap just minutes into the second half had Bond extend their lead through Cameron Bracewell, and the speed of the try set the tone for the half. East scored a gritty try through their forwards, though this one to Bradley Jones, courtesy of a Luke Evans kick, was a pearler. The scrum halves were having a big one. Mullins got one himself just minutes later with this elusive run. That was one of three target tries that closed out the game. This one to Gordon was the pick of them. Together they gave East the win, and with it the minor premiership. Congratulations East on a stellar 18 rounds. Heading to university where Sunnybank had to come away with at least two table points to guarantee them a final spot or be at the mercy of the South Brothers game just a few k's away. In a game refed by top tier international referee Nigel Owens, it was university that opened the scoring with this one to Gareth Kalel three minutes in. The Dragons didn't wait long to hit back this counter-attack saw Matt Fionati link up with junior Lalawifi, who scooted away to score comfortably. In a hectic opening period, Uni then responded, forming this textbook maul of an attacking line-out, allowing hooker Tongamafu to score. Fionati then got one for himself just minutes later. Jake McIntyre pulled off a chip and chase before spreading it wide to allow Fionati to score untouched. That took the score to 2012 to the Uni at the break. Uni opened the scoring in the second half with this dart from the ruck base, and it was to be the first of many tries in the half. This one was Uni's best. Outside centre Tom Pincus stepped up to first receiver down the blind side before throwing a nice offload to set Kalel up for his second try. The try of the game though goes to Sunnybank's Faunati. This run of play started with McIntyre in Sunnybank's own half with a lovely Ben Tapawai no-look pass, sending Lalawifi into a gap. He linked up perfectly with Rex Tapawai, who juggled this one around his back before leaving Fionati with some work to do. One swerve and a busted tackle later, Fionati was over for a great try. That gave Sunnybank their four try bonus point, but the 54-22 uni victory left South the chance to snare that fourth final spot in their game against Brothers. South needed a bonus point win over an impressive Brothers outfit to secure that final spot, but they were made to work for it. They got deep into Brothers territory early and ground out this try after a few patient minutes. South scored again one phase after the kickoff. This bursting run down the left hand flank gave the Magpies good territory. Mika Teller was eventually brought down, but South scrum half Scott Malalua saw a space out wide. Centre Paul Brown shuffled the ball to Chris Fayawai Sotia, who finished off the try. The game slowed into a gritty arm wrestle for a period before brothers lock Ben Hine made this strong run. It had the South's defence on its heels, allowing Patrick James to score in the next phase. That had South leading 10-7 at the break. It was the fullbacks crossing the chalk early in the second, Andrew Muirhead got this try down the left touch line after a few minutes before Pierce Fitzgerald scored for the Brethren. Mitch Felsman hit a great inside ball from fly half Sam Green to make a break deep into Magpie territory. 
The ball was spread to Fitzgerald, who scored on the next phase. Southampton brothers together scored a few tries in tight through the half, but this penalty to brothers saw them edge ahead by two with 10 minutes to go. South were given a chance to retake the lead four minutes later through Malua. He nailed it, and despite some handbags near the end of the game, South were able to hang on and win 30 points to 29. Jeeps and North faced off at Yoku Road, and there was no shortage of passion or skill on show. Marco Kotzer crossed early for Jeeps after prop Ryan Freeney gave a lovely pass in the back line. Norse hit straight back after gathering the kickoff. Self-proclaimed fastest man in Premier Rugby, Varessa Matitini, showed his pace in running around to score this one. After throwing the last pass for their previous try, Freeney got one for himself for Jeeps, diving under the posts. Jeeps went on to score a handful more tries in the half, but these two were the standouts. Hooker Dylan Lindsay finished off this long play that started deep in Jeeps' own half. It went through multiple pairs of hands before Lindsay was rewarded for his support. Campbell Magne scored the other standout try, with this ball being swung all the way across field, with these two double cutouts to make space out wide. Half time, 33-7 to Jeeps. As in the first half, Jeeps scored early in the second, but North hit straight back. Alex Masisi was on the spot to finish off this short side counter attack by dotting it down under the posts. The rest of the half felt much the same as the first, but this audacious try to Jeeps is worth a watch. Offered a very kickable penalty, Jeeps scrum half Tom Christie instead put up a high ball. It was spilt by the surprised North's defenders, allowing Chris Kiradrani to stroll over. Full-time score, 59-19 to Jeeps. Tonga Mafu was this week's Masashi high performer. Tonga was a key member of the uni engine room that laid out the platform for the high scoring backs. Congratulations Tonga, enjoy your Masashi prize pack. Let's have a look at how the ladder finished up at the end of the regular season. East only just defended their long held lead, finishing first on 63. Uni cemented second with their big win to finish on 59 points. Brothers and South had a tight match on the weekend, and they're not separated by much on the ladder either. They sit in third and fourth and round out our 2015 finalists. Sunnybank faded to fifth on the weekend. Though they finished with the same points total as South, the Magpies got ahead with their superior points differential. Bond finished sixth on 42, with Jeeps behind them in seventh. The Doggies finished with three wins to their credit on 23 points, while Norse finished up in ninth on seven points. We get stuck into finals this coming weekend, and the three rounds of Premier Finals will be played at Ballymore. In the minor semi, Brothers and Souths face off for their second week running, with only the winner progressing. The major semi will follow straight afterwards, with East and Uni to fight it out for that direct entry into the final in two weeks' time. With all the finals being played at Ballymore, we're certain to have an awesome atmosphere for every game. Be sure to come down this Sunday for some classy finals footy and to check out the stars of tomorrow today.